Hi everyone, this is Jasveer Singh and in this video tutorial we are going to talk about how to have internet connectivity inside virtual machines. First of all, let's check the IP address of this physical machine, CMD. IP config. So this shows that the IP address of my this virtual, this physical machine is this one 192.168.1.3 the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and default gateway is 192.168.1.1 so I have uh, noted these settings over here in this notepad IP address is 192.168.1.3 and default gateway is 192.168.1.1 uh, and for this video uh, if I want to have internet connection, internet connection, then I should have an IP address in this range. In this range, right? So let's see how we can have internet connectivity inside a virtual machine. First of all, go to this uh, virtual network adapter. Disable the DSP on all the interfaces. See here. The DSCP is enabled on host only, so disable it by unchecking this. D, uh, uncheck here also for NAT. Apply. This is just to ensure that we use only the static IP addresses and not the addresses assigned by DSCP server. Okay, so this is my uh, virtual machine which access a domain controller. The host name is DC1 and the domain is mydomain.com and the IP address is 192.0.0.100 <coughs> default gateway is also the same and the DNS server is also the same if we check the network connectivity uh, network connection of this machine we see these are the settings 192.0.0.100 252.255.255.0 .255 .255 .255 .255 .255 and default gateway is also the same 192.0.0.100 and DNS survey is 192.0.0.100 okay the this machine has only one nick for which I have these settings network adapter is configured as host only so in all the machines I have one network adapter uh, configured as host only this just to ensure that these virtual machines can talk to each other and also with the virtual physical machine. So if I go to this XP1 machine, this is a member server and the IP address of this is 192.0.0.111 and the DNS and gateway is pointing to that domain controller DC1 which is 100. Let's check the properties of this. So it is also showing as 192.0.0.100 uh, 111 and the default gateway is something dot 100 and DNS is is ending with 100. So these machines can communicate with each other on this domain which is mydomain.com. Now I want to have internet connectivity inside this uh, virtual machine which is XP1. For this what I need to do is I just need to go inside this the settings of this virtual machine. And let's add one more network adapter. Uh, it, it can be either NAT or bridged mode. So I'll check bridged mode. Finish. Okay. Now it has found a new NIC and trying to install the network driver for this machine. If I go to the ncpa.cpl network connections, see I have another nick now. Local area connection 2. I can rename it as LAN internet. The properties of this one are
obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically. So it is showing that this interface is also connected now. So I can have internet connectivity now. Let's check. Let's type www.google.com. Let's close and open once again. Actually, I need to restart this virtual machine, then I should have checked this URL. Now I can search internet with anything. Let's say we are searching for Taj Mahal. So now it is working. Now what we want next. I want to have internet connectivity inside a guest virtual machine which is running inside in ESX host. So this is my ESX host and it has one network adapter con uh, configured as host only. Similarly here also we need to have another NIC if we want to have internet connectivity. So edit virtual machine settings. Here it is only host only. Let's have one more network adapter as uh, in bridge mode or net mode network adapter bridge mode okay so let's power on this virtual machine while this machine is starting let's go into this xp1 and let's see whether we have ip address in that range in which uh, we were getting internet connectivity so the IP address should be in this network 192.168.1 dot something so let's check here IP config so it shows that the my uh, that my IP address for internet is this one which is 192.168.1.2 so 1.2 it's in the range which is uh, I'm using for which I'm using for my virtual physical machine also so that is why I have internet connectivity now my ASX server has rebooted I'll go to my virtual center Let's uh, fire up this uh, vSphere client. Login. Okay, vSphere client could not connect with this because this vCenter uh, VMware VMware vCenter server service may be down. So I need to connect. I need to start this service. VMware vCenter VMware vCenter okay so it's not started I have to start it okay now let's fire up this VMware vSphere client login So here I have my ESX host whose host name is ESX1. In this I have one XP machine. For this XP machine to have internet connectivity, first of all let's check how we have configured this. This ESX1, let's check the configuration of this ESX1. For this go to the configuration tab. 
go to network adapters and see we have two vmnix 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 0 it is connected to vswitch 0 and vmnic 1 is a second nic which we have added for bridge mode and it is not connected to any switch we switch that is why switch is showing us none so let's configure this networking here also if we see here this is my this gray bar is my v switch 0 and on this v switch 0 i have one uh, port group which is known as vm network all my virtual machines like xp golden this is inside this vm network port group and this v switch is further connected to vm nic 0 which is host only so my machines can communicate with each other but they don't won't have any uh, internet connectivity for internet connectivity i need to have another v switch and that should be connected with that nic which has network connectivity like uh, the one we have added for bridge mode for this let's go to add networking connection type virtual machine okay next so create a virtual switch here is showing the preview that we are trying to create a new virtual machine network port group and this v switch will be connected to vmnic1 which i have just added now and it is not connected to any v switch next what should be the name of this uh, network let me change the uh, network label vm network for internet so here also it shows the preview so vmnet 1 is connected to this port group finish now i have my vswitch 1 and it is connected to vmnic 1 now i need to connect this xp golden machine to this uh, port group also which is vm network for internet so that it can have internet connectivity for this i'll go to the settings of this one more thing i want this machine to communicate with domain controller for which it will be using this host only and for internet i shall be using this vswitch1 and this port group vm network for internet so let's go to the network properties edit settings here i have one network adapter which is vm network I need to have another this is a VM network is the network label for using which this machine can ha can, uh, can uh, connect to the domain controller for internet I need to have another network adapter for this click on add ethernet adapter next here the network name with specified label should be used and it should be VM network for internet next finish okay now run this uh, power on this machine power on my machine is getting powered on let's check the console of this machine open console Now this machine must be having two uh, network adapters ncpa.cpl This is the first let's turn off the firewall off off This was my uh, previous uh, LAN card LAN domain
let me give some IP address so that this uh, LAN can uh, can talk to this uh, domain controller 192.0.0.100 so let the IP address for this one be uh, One ninety two one ninety two zero zero one one two 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 subnet mask is this one and default gateway is the IP address of my domain controller. DNS server will also be my domain controller's address. So now I should be able to talk to my domain controller. Let's check cmd ping 192.0.0.100. My domain controller is pingable now. Let's check the internet connectivity for this. I have this network interface. Then enter net properties show icon it has obtain an IP address automatically you obtain DNS server address automatically now this is also connected let's check internet connectivity inside this virtual machine www.google.com It may take some time but eventually it will connect to the internet. In the meantime let's check the uh, diagram for network connect uh, configuration on this ESX host. For this go to networking see here this XP Golden is connected to VMNIC1 for internet connectivity and this VMNIC1 is configured as in bridge mode only and this machine XP Golden is connected to VM network via VMNIC 0 which is configured as host only. Now we see that the internet connectivity is has been established in this virtual machine also. I can search here also. it is working so thank you for viewing this video i hope this was informative